Hey y'all, how's it going? So as you can see, I am working on yet another batch of my famous cowboy style fried potatoes. Now these are gonna be a little different today than they've normally been. Um, I'm gonna have a couple more ingredients in them and I'm gonna be cooking two different dishes inside one pan at the same time here in a moment. For now, we're gonna start with some onion because it is just about ready to add the oil to the pan. Uh, as I've mentioned in the past, I always start my, my, bake, my fried potatoes off in water, basically boiling them initially because that gets them cooked down quickly, makes them soft, which these aren't quite there yet, but it gets them really close to that. Then all you have to do is put the nice golden brown touch to them. And it's so fast and easy to do it this way. So the mothership is running great. Still have to get all of the wreck repair taken care of from the other night, but that'll be not till I get home in a few weeks. As soon as that boils down, potatoes will be soft and ready to add the oil, along with all the other ingredients. All right, guys, thanks for your comments last night. <clears throat> We've been discussing the options suggested, such as the shaving the face. No. And we like shaving no. the face. No, it's not happening. It will not happen. No. The answer is no. He's just a party pooper, ain't he? I'm not shaving my face. I, I want to grow it out. No. I, I think... No. We're just no. Gonna, we're just going to let half no. of it. Bobby. You can grow half of it out. I'll slap your goatee off you. No. You can grow half of it as far as you want to go. We're only asking you to shave. again. No. I don't think he likes the idea very well. I hate the idea. It's not happening. Sorry. He's a party pooper. Okay, the water is just about boiled away. The potatoes are nice and soft. I'm adding a little bit of canola oil, which I like well. And a nice, big, thick slab of purple onion. I love purple onion. Love the flavor. Like it in a sandwich. We want to dice them up fairly small so that they'll cook in really nice. We're almost done. Once the, once the water is gone, it doesn't take much more than just a little bit of browning to that nice golden brown that looks so good. Oh, you can hear it sizzling. And the smell of frying onions. So good. So, so good. And then I like these green onions as well, so I'm going to chop up some of those. Add in there as well. This might be a little too much onion for some people. I like it. The thing about potatoes is they're a great base for most anything. <clears throat> jalapeno. Love jalapeno. Fresh. Don't like the pickled. But love it fresh. Cut up a little bit of that in there. Hey. Oh yes, there's that golden brown that looks so good. Y'all look at that. Golden brown, ain't that just gorgeous? Okay, now it's time to start putting in all of our other ingredients. Vegetarian sausage links, I like. You can add real meat, whatever you want. I'm actually going to do a couple of those. Okay. Now this is something a little different you don't normally see. But I like mushrooms. I like them really well. So I'm going to take the larger pieces and chop them up. Fry them right on in there. A nice big handful of them. My wife would love that because she's an onion fanatic. And now 
one of my favorites, big block of mild cheddar cheese. Put this in at the very, very last. Well, I'm not putting in quite yet. What we're going to do right now, stir this up. Oh, listen to it sizzle. Kind of get some of those onions and mushrooms down on the bottom. It's going to do a little frying. And you can leave the mushrooms and the onions and things more like a... Uh, stir fry where they're not totally cooked but they're wilted I guess would be a good way to put it I also like capers now this is only the second time I've tried capers but as far as in potatoes but I liked it really well nice little flavor bursts as I call it yeah there's that golden brown that looks so good And that's what you call cowboy by cowboy fried potatoes. Except, here's the difference. Here's the way a cowboy does. Because you don't carry multiple skillets with you in a saddlebag. And I <coughs> I love Bush's best most anything, but in this case, black eyed peas. I've already drained most of the juice off, so I'm dumping them down on the one side right there. I'm going to slide it over so that most of the heat is under those. And we're going to see if we can cook that without mixing it up too much. And then, we're going to drink naked. Naked. See? Y'all get dirty minded on me. This stuff is good. Ah, so good. Now, for a little more flavor, here's where the seasonings are going to come in. I like hot sauce. I don't like it super hot, but I like the flavor. So I'm putting up in there to add some flavor. <laughs> and then, a little bit of garlic powder. Yesterday I used minced garlic, works just as well. Some pepper. Add the pepper to the beans as well. And salt. And I like to add the salt while it's cooking because it helps to actually bring the flavor out better in anything you're cooking. And I'll mix that down into it a little bit. Folks, there you have a meal fit for a cowboy. Mm, smells so good. Yummy, yummy. One of the challenges of keeping food fresh when you don't have a working refrigerator is how to keep it fresh. So well, here's what I've done. I've bagged everything in the sealable Ziploc bags and it goes down here in the ice chest in the ice but that keeps it separate from the ice it keeps it clean and dry and fresh and nice and one final stir the peas are boiling <coughs> potatoes are done oh yes y'all take a look at that <coughs> don't that look good okay and now is when you add the cheese because it's going to melt down in there but it's still going to be in lumps where you get those little bites of cheese rather than it becoming like a sticky mess all through it <clears throat> we're not trying to make cheesy potato soup we're trying to make fried potatoes with some cheese on top don't that just look good of course, next best thing's out there loading the trailer because he ate lunch while I was driving. Now, it's my turn to eat while he's out there loading. We're at IAA at the moment. 
and we're waiting on the forklift operator to bring out a pickup truck. We've had to offload two units and we are putting the pickup truck on the top middle and then we're going to drive the other two back on and we'll be back on the road. We've got two more to deliver today and hopefully two more to get loaded today before the day's over. But I'm going to eat my fit for a cowboy fried potatoes and pinto beef or um, yeah whatever those things are called. Y'all have a good right. Now I know you guys are already asking how in the world is a skinny guy like Bones going to eat that much food? Well, truth is, I'm probably not, but I have a secret weapon. And she likes to be spoiled. Don't you, girl? Doggo will gladly help me clean up whatever scraps are left over. with the next best thing's organizational skills. Check out that. Y'all remember that was a junk drawer when I got the truck back from the shop. There's plates and bowls. Most of that, once washed, will go back in here. Pots and pans, again. Pan, pan. We'll go down here. And there's all the regular cleaning supplies for the kitchen. Plus, some underneath here. Oh, look at there. She got that so clean? Yep, all I gotta do is put it back in the drawer. 